Hi there everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Wild Wonders of Southern Africa. So just like the title says, today we're going to be building a DIY terrarium for an arboreal tarantula species. Now I got my idea from Petco from the Dark Den, but I'm going to try and see if I can build it with some household items lying around in my house. So uh, not going to waste your time, let's get going and let's get cracking to see if we can build this DIY terrarium. Right guys, so as I said, I got the inspiration for this build from a very very cool YouTuber known as Petco from the Dark Den and his arboreal terrarium was built from a cool Ferrero Rocher little yeah, box that the, the chocolates come in. So what I want to do is, and what I'm planning is, to make this into a really nice terrarium. As you can see here, it's got a nice little lid, but we need to modify it. And I've got a few household items that's going to help me out with this. First of all, I've got a candle, and let's get the candle started. And as the candle is uh, burning, I want to tell you a little bit more about my plan. So. First of all, what you need is a small little blade. I want to try and see if we can cut the lid. Obviously guys, this is going to include a few sharp objects and things like that. So if you're young and you haven't cut with blades and things like that before and you don't have any experience, please get an adult to supervise you or to help you out with the cutting. I'm going to try and cut one third of the, the lid so that I can glue this part onto it and the other part will then become the lid. So let me just try and see if I can just estimate. That's a rough guesstimate where I want it. So let's just start cutting really slowly. With a sharp knife, you're just going to go along the edges and make sure that there's no residual plastic left. Be sure not to scratch the plastic. And again, be really, really careful not to cut yourself. Okay, so that's the bottom part. And the top part, which is going to be the lid, just clean that up nicely as well. It will help if you hold it down. Yep. And that looks great. Okay, so then what you're going to do is and get some super glue and we are now going to glue this part onto the bottom here to make sure that it's going to stay intact okay so this is brand new super glue so i first need to prime it Let's see there yep Let's just use this hold it there for a few seconds if you want to you can also add a bead and run it down the sides
Okay, and that should hold uh, the bottom part nicely in place. And you're probably wondering, what am I doing with the candle? But uh, for those that took a guess and thought, nah, I'm gonna use a small little iron object to burn some holes in here for side ventilation, you're completely right. I've got a fairly large paper clip here. And I'm just going to also use the multi-tools. Another function to hold on to that so that I don't burn myself. So basically what you don't want to do is just heat up the plastic or the, the metal and then you're going to just poke some holes into the plastic to make some nice ventilation holes. And again, I'll speed up this part. Right, now to make the lid, it's fairly simple. All I'm going to do is add it on. And then take a small piece of sellotape and put that over there. Make sure it's a clear one that you can actually see through it. Normally do that and you'll get a nice bead as well. And what I'm going to do now is just cut a small square so that I can easily fit it onto the lid. that turn it on its side give this off again Obviously it will open up quite easily now, but I want to reinforce it, so I want to make another one. I just want to put this one there again, and cut a bit longer than that, cut another one out. And that's an easy way to make a hinge. So this will fit quite nicely like that. But uh, in order for this not to jump open, I have an idea on how to make a nice little lock uh, mechanism for the top part here. So what you do is you'll take a smaller paper clip and make two holes one through both sections of the, the lid and one just further behind. So I want to close it first firmly, heat that up in the meantime, 
Okay, so right from the top. And that's it, that's one. And that's another one. Okay, so now you've got two pieces there. So you can see there, there's one like that, and one in the back there. And then you can take a small little paper clip. This little bit inward. A little bit more. up press that through there's going to bend the last part of the paper clip back when you do that it fits in nicely and it can't open up, tarantula can't come out. So there's your locking mechanism in place. If I open it up again, just do that to the side and you have it. All right guys, that's it for the terrarium bull. It's a tiny little terrarium, mostly suited for your slings. Tarantulas do grow according to their species. So some species will grow more rapid than others, but uh, yeah. There's going to be a next episode, so tune in for that one next time. But there's going to be a guest presenter, so uh, I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys. But uh, obviously, these little tarantulas, they can be quite fast, they can be bolty. So there's different methods, and my guest presenter, he's going to help us out with that. And I'm going to use his method on how to move my little tarantula into its new enclosure and we're going to try and see if the method is suitable for all tarantulas but I'm pretty sure it is but first of all I want to give a big shout out to a fantastic arachno group or tarantula group guys there's a tarantula group that I'm uh, a part of it's called the Gauteng Arachno Culture Group and um, it started off as a WhatsApp group but there's also a Facebook group so if you guys want to be part of this Facebook group, I'm going to have a link down below. And if you want to be part of the WhatsApp group, join the uh, Facebook group first and that way you can also become part of the WhatsApp group. It is a fantastic group and there are loads of experts that share their knowledge of years and years of tarantula keeping. And there's a whole lot of cool um, photos and videos that help you to keep your tarantulas in the right way and yes there are the right ways to keep your tarantulas but that's it guys from my side for this week I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and remember to check out my previous videos as well there's a cool series going on about uh, Brian Barsic's talk that he had with the reptile expert and watch out for my upcoming videos there's gonna be a little bit more about tarantulas in the uh, near future I just want to put some spotlights on these creatures they are fascinating and they're so so beautiful um, yeah that's it from me guys have a fantastic week remember to give this video a big like big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel yet click on your bottom right hand corner that will subscribe you automatically if you're watching this from YouTube other than that guys um, I'm on all of your social media platforms I will have a link down below to my patreon page if you guys want to su uh, support my uh, YouTube channel just a little bit further um, I don't make a lot of money with uh, YouTube as it is so if you guys want to help this channel out I would really appreciate that and also I'll have the links down below in the description to the Gauteng Arachno Culture group it is a fantastic group I can promise you guys you don't want to miss anything in there and then also all of my other social media platforms is going to be down in the description right guys have a fantastic week see you next time bye for now